Thank you so much, Newman, for joining us tonight. Thank you for joining People of Ari live session. Um, we would like to ask, start the interview by asking you guys to introduce yourself and let us know how you guys formed as a band. So I'm Newman. I'm the guitarist and singer. Yeah, I'm Job. I'm bassist. Up, up, gong, up. Yep, and we formed uh, back in 2018. Actually, it was my solo project. And uh, I asked Piop from another band we used to play to have a drum and guitar sort of thing. And we played a few shows in jam. And then Job became interested from the Hope of Flowers and with you at home. And we were happy to have him join us after that. All right, thank you. Moving on to the next questions. Um, in terms of music genre, you have described um, the music of your band as math rock and post rock. I think math rock is probably one of the less known and less familiar um, terms um, for most people. So can you explain to us a bit more about what math rock is for you and why are you interested in creating this type of music? Yeah, sure. Uh, when I was playing back in high school, I, we sort of went, went through an emo rock phase and uh, sort of the, the music that people started listening to was more instrumental. Um, we didn't know at the, at the time that was math rock. And there was this band called Aire that started uh, sort of a movement here in Thailand and more Japanese uh, bands came and we were really interested like Mono uh, and Explosions in the Sky. Any, any other? Mm -hmm. TTNG. TTNG from UK. So uh, in Thailand, it wasn't that big. So actually, I started uh, my own shows to promote math rock. It's called Math Rock Appreciation. And we got bands from around the world to, to perform. Also, the math rock bands in Thailand. Uh, we brought bands from Philippines, from UK, from and just recently from Singapore. So where the, where the scene is much bigger there. Yeah. Uh, and if you, anyone doesn't know what math rock is, it's more like instrumental rock with more intricate uh, guitar lines and a change of tempos. And it's, it's a little more like uh, chaotic. And we're in time. So, so in our songs, we have like a three, four, seven, eight. Uh, and we, we sort of like try to make it as complicated. Piop knows it's very difficult to, to, to drum in that, in that kind of signature. Uh, yeah, just just a follow up question about you know the these unconventional time signatures. Does it make it challenging for you to you know create music together when there are these like unconventionalities involved? Yeah, that's why Job has uh, has these notes, and he has for every song we write. We yeah, just for every song. it's awesome. Yeah, it's quite hard. Yeah, just to remember the notes, how many times we play it, and uh, how many if we play half time or play in in a different key. Uh, we sort of just, I sort of come up with the idea and then and have Piop try and try. We, we, we play a lot together in the band room. Um, we just, we, we're not very uh, technical in, in the sense that there's a lot of tapping or a lot of like a incredible licks. We just want to make it a bit more aggressive and, and, and also at the same time more somber uh, in, that, in that aspect. Well, thank you. Um, it's really cool to hear that as well, and I think it would require a lot of accuracy as well in in terms of remembering or like um, what Pete Job did about you know writing it down so you can remember the details in each song and stuff. Yeah, it's, I really admire that. I think it's really cool. And moving on to the next questions. Um, so as far as we know, you also recently released a new album. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Like, what is it called? What's the inspiration behind it? And what is new? in this new album. Yep. Sure, uh, so this is our third album called Foreign Foundation and it's quite special to us because this is the first album we wrote together uh, in, this, in the studio together and we recorded live together because uh, we practiced a lot all the songs that we wanted to do and we sort of have each of our, our taste or our, our, our influences in there. The previous albums I sort of like came up with the idea and we recorded at my house and I sort of edited it myself and it wasn't exactly all three of us collaborating. So the Foreman Foundation is the first record that everyone put everything in there and in, in two years we came up with this. Uh, it's available everywhere. Spotify, Apple and uh, we got a couple of CD, CDs here as well so to give you for yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, I, we really love the cover art as well. It's beautiful. Thank you. 
Um, yeah, and the last question is, um, can you tell us what is next for Newman? Um, any more upcoming albums planned or any concerts, any live shows to be performed? Uh, to be honest, this is the last one we're going to be doing. I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. Maybe it's the uh, end of the year or next year. But uh, at, at this point, in October 13th, we're, we're just taking a break until next year. Uh, we're just uh, release something. And, and we have other projects. Like uh, his, his band is also releasing an album. Uh, I'm working a, a side project with, with a Piop as well. Uh, more shoegaze, more alternative rock kind of thing. So that will come also come next year. Uh, Numan, for, for now, I think we're just happy with what we have. We're happy with what we've playing, and we have like 20, 15 songs now in the in the roster, and I think that's enough. I don't want to put more in the in the set list. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, and that's it for all the questions. And thank you so much again, Newman, for joining us tonight. Um, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, people of Ari. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs>